So one of the big issues out there today is the FCC announcement, which President Obama just backed up last week, that the cable and satellite and telco companies are going to have to provide an open set-top box to consumers, and basically they're not going to be able to force proprietary hardware on them. This is going to have enormous implications for all advanced TV advertising. A, we're going to have a lot more devices out there that have data and that you could address ads. B, a lot of pressure is going to be put on the television networks to change the revenue mix, and they're going to have to rely on TV advertising much more. And C, it's going to put a lot of pressure on brands <clears throat> who are going to have to, and buying agencies, who are going to have to embrace this new way of buying very quickly because these orders, this order is going to go through in two years. So the way the open set-top box affects Simul Media is long-term we're going to have a lot more data available. We're going to have a bigger opportunity to target ads. In the short term, it becomes a point on the horizon that all of the brands can focus on now that knows that their world is going to change on them whether they're in chart, whether they want it or not. And if they don't start availing themselves of data-driven TV advertising today, they're going to be caught flat-footed in two years when that shows up. And so that's the biggest implication for us. So the biggest challenge is that we see at Simul Media in bringing more data-targeted uh, advertising to TV. Or you have the incumbents who know the world's changing but don't want to let go of the dollars they have. And that's a significant issue. It's going to be slow for the large brands. It's going to be slow for the big sellers. It's slow for the measurement companies. I worry a little bit less about that because the TV ad business in the United States is a $75 billion industry, but it's certainly a source of irritation. One of the exciting things we were just talking about on, on my panel here at ICOM was when you bring digital marketing techniques to TV, you can bring it in ways that people hadn't always anticipated you could. Mm -hmm. One of the things we've been doing at Simul Media is using all of the data to know exactly how many ads it takes to cause a purchase when you tie what the ads actually households watch versus what they buy, you can determine what's the effective frequency, the appropriate frequency, which has always been guessed before. Now we can know. But the real issue is what do you do with that? And so we've started working with virtual frequency capping where you mathematically model the perfect campaign for a retailer. And we're finding that you can actually save 40% of the spots in TV campaigns that are typically lost in wasted, uh, wasted frequency against the very same households. And I think we're going to start seeing that happen not just in TV, but we're going to see that in integrated ways between TV and social and TV and digital video.